Hey, this is Jamie from Capsule Computers, and today we are previewing Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. This action RPG is available now on Steam Early Access. At the time of the recording of this video, the game costs $49.99 US. When the game leaves Early Access, it will be available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Windows. Action RPG veterans Neocore Games is looking to create a fresh take on the long-running action RPG genre with Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. The game currently features three classes, a persistent world, the first act in the campaign, and a variety of randomly generated missions. We had a chance to test out the new 0.7.0 update on Steam Early Access that introduced some massive changes to the game. Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr is set in the Caligari Sector. The Inquisitors, the secret agents of the Imperium, have been sent to investigate a distress signal from an ancient fortress monastery. Currently, the Early Access build has the first act of the campaign, randomly generated mini-campaigns, and a bit of miscellaneous lore. So far, the writing is decent. The dialogue tends to be on the shorter side, which keeps the game moving at a nice pace. Those looking to delve a little deeper can find and read a variety of logs, notes, and messages left in-game. As a person with little experience or knowledge with the Warhammer 40k lore, I found myself a little lost at times with the game's setting. The Imperium's religious based system is unique, but it also makes it really hard to understand at times. I hope Neocore Games add a little more story content to the first chapter to better explain the setting before the game leaves early access. Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr has a novel leveling system that's perfect for the Altaholics out there. Players will level both their character and their account at the same time. The account level grants points for skills and attributes for each character, while the character level dictates the item level of dropped equipment. I think it's a great balance that gives players a sense of progression when they start a new character while getting them into high-end content quickly if they have a high-level main. The system will really shine if Neocore Games chooses to create more classes for the game. The classes are entertaining so far. The Crusader is the warrior. He's heavily armored and excels at close-range combat, though can wield ranged weapons just as well. The class is probably the most friendly to newbies, as cover is less important when in melee range, and being able to absorb damage after missing a telegraphed attack makes the game very forgiving. On the other hand, the Assassin class is the squishier high DPS rogue specializing in guns, dual-wielding swords, and high mobility. The most difficult of the bunch is without a doubt the new Psyker class. This mage keeps players on the toes by having them juggle multiple mechanics at once. Since the mage is neither mobile like the assassin nor tanky like the crusader, players need to be careful with their positioning. To further complicate matters, most of the psyker's abilities generate warp instability. As the psyker becomes more unstable, the greater chance a warp anomaly will spawn to plague the psyker with a variety of debuffs. Combat in Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr tempers a faster pacing of an action RPG with the tactical position of a cover shooter. Characters have two damage pools, health and suppression. Health is self-explanatory, lose it all and you die. Players, on the other hand, have three lives to complete most missions before it's game over. The suppression system is tied to the game's status effects. The higher level of suppression, the more likely the character will suffer from debuffs. The cover system is the best way to deal with suppression and health damage. It's implemented well for the most part, but I do wish the game gave some sort of indicator of when cover will interfere with a shot. Instead of having large levels connected together like traditional action RPGs, Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr opts for a shorter mission system that rewards players with a guaranteed loot box at the end of each mission. It gives the game a bit of a free-to-play MMO feel, but the shorter nature of missions allow the game to generate mini-campaigns called priority assignments that add more continuity to individual missions outside of the game's handmade story content. The audiovisual presentation for Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr is decent so far. The sound effects and soundtrack are enjoyable. The voice acting is clearly incomplete right now, but what is there is passable. The graphics is gritty and gory, though there is still a bit of optimization work to be done between now and release. Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr is shaping up to be a solid action RPG with some unique mechanics to set it apart from the pack. The classes feel different from one another, and the combat pays tribute to Warhammer 40k's tabletop roots. Neocore Games may have found their next big action RPG franchise with Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. If you want to read this preview, be sure to check out the link in the description or in the video's card. I hope to see you soon. This is Jamie from Castle Computers signing off. Hey YouTube, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to Capsule Computers for more awesome videos. 
If you're looking for more videos to watch, why don't you check out our preview of Forged Battalion here on the right. If you're looking for an action RPG that is both out of Steam Early Access and mixes in some RTS mechanics, check out our review of Spellforce 3 here on the left.